Nat Young, yeah, his, his wave was amazing. Got that first big turn. Didn't bowl out in that second turn like Owens did, so just went a bit uh, flatter. But, uh, you know, surfing with so much speed, Nat. This is such a good matchup. Cool to see Owen able to drip the fins in these types of conditions. A very risky maneuver. Owen and Nat Young having another great battle. Their third matchup they've had in a one on one setup on the championship tour. Reaching for the lip line again is Owen right straight into a bottom turn. Belts oh. it with authority. Wow. Owen's on fire into a backhand carve. In 2015, Owen Wright was at the peak of his career and locked in a heated world title race. Roll in with the Whitewater, stomps that takeoff, avoids Julian, big bottom turn, hacks the start. Now steps on the gas, trying to hang on. A wide open pit for Owen Wright as he's gonna survive <laughs> another. 210 perfect rides, here we go. Owen now looks. Perfect positioning. The wave already spits. He steps on the gas. He's coming out. He's coming out. As he beats multiple sections, <laughs> he'll make another wave. Days before the last event of the 2015 season, startling news broke that Wright would have to withdraw from competition. Owen Wright, he suffered an injury yesterday, uh, was hospitalized. He's got a severe concussion, a minor bleed on the brain. With a life-threatening brain injury, Owen would miss the entire 2016 competitive year. For a while, people started to speculate that Owen might never return to competition. Wright returned to the jersey in 2017. At that time, his ability was unknown. I went through a roller coaster. There's always blessings in disguise, and man, I feel more excited than ever to compete. Go. Owen Wright's just going to pick up a bonus now. Starts with a big wall, so he'll carve right through. Throws oh. it up vertically, so he could recover from the fall in the last wave. Three solid moves for Owen already. Former rookie of the year, coils up, goes vertical under the lip, and now a rock and roll float on the back end to change gears. He's thrown variety. <laughs> He's shown that he can recover from falls. Miraculously, at the first event of the year, he completed the greatest comeback our sport has ever witnessed. Everyone on their feet, the competitors there applauding. Owen Wright, your new world number one and one of the best comeback stories we could ever imagine. How is it that after a, a, you know, 13, 14 months of hardly being able to surf from what I hear, comes back and is surfing like this? I'm not quite sure if anyone will ever understand how far he's come. <laughs> Now, with a protective helmet on his head, Owen is focused on the Tahiti Pro Final and a rematch with Gabriel Medina. Last year after the final, I was like, I'll get you back next year. And he was like, you know, yeah, let's do it again next year. We've never had a repeat final, but it feels like it's meant to be. We've got the rematch from yes. last season. Gabriel Medina will take on Owen Wright. Nice late takeoff for Ooh. Owen Wright, staying wide open. To answer back right into Whoa. the barrel, still traveling. Medina comes <laughs> out standing tall, right into a quick paddle to get into position. Looks like Medina is interested again. There he is, racing, pumping. Last to Medina, 7.10. So Owen chasing an 8.76 for the lead. Owen wants payback from 2018. Yeah! A 9.17 for Owen Wright and the lead off Medina. Wow! Owen Wright, there's that amazing rhythm he has with Chopo Tahiti. He'll celebrate another exit into the channel. Look at him feel it. Now forcing Medina to need a 9.24 as we wow. are into the countdown. Poetic retribution. Owen Wright snatched that title from Gabe Medina, just like Gabe did last year in 2018. Can't be happier, mate. I was, you know, I was against the ropes, and Gabby was always going to be the toughest matchup. And geez, working hard and <laughs> stoked to win. It's a massive win for Owen. He hasn't won since his first event back after the brain injury. This is the event you want to win for everyone. This is the event you want to win. Owen Wright. The surfer's surfer. Everyone on tour looks up to this guy for what he has achieved. 
Owen Wright, your 2019 Tahiti Pro Chopu Champion. Today, Owen celebrates a long-awaited victory in Tahiti, his fourth CT win of his career. I haven't won since Snapper. And it's been so long. Been up and down and up and down. And uh, yeah, I just finally have felt up and up and up in these last few months. So, you know, I've tried to win this event a lot of times and it's just, it's been amazing to, to finally get that today. Score, Simpo is eating an 808. Owen once again, big pump, standing room with the view of the channel. Owen Wright. And he wasn't making the highlight reel leading up to it. Now having a look, Owen Wright locks one in, nice and tight, beautiful glassing wall, and a light puff of the spin. He's starting to laugh and giggle, and he will Superman his way into the shoulder. The channel's erupting. Simple looks over the edge and lets that one drift underneath him. Owen Wright just got a 10. Now look at this wave. Long wingspan. Owen's going to swoop on this one. There's that deep bottom turn. Gosh, a little bit of extra oomph on those backhand reels, just throwing the fins through the back of the wave, even oh, more on God. three, looking loose, Owen Wright. Surfers have had two, a nine head-to-head -head combats with Owen up on that one, five to four, and here we go with Owen Wright. Off the bottom, 12 o'clock, lunchtime, throws the fins. Oh, coming around the section again with a beautiful carve on turn number two, stands up for Owen Wright at 8.67 for his wave. Owen Wright with 8.5. Here's Owen's answer back and the way he's going to back up that 8.5. Just uh -huh. loving the surfing of Owen Wright. The leverage that he's able to apply. That top turn is just so pleasing and radical at the same time. Here we go off the bottom again. And oh, just looking smooth on point. Difficult floater through the inside here. Can he get a bonus here? And bangs it. Oh, Goes wow. complete. Well, this is uh, O-Dog, um, number two in the world at the moment, coming off a win on the Gold Coast. And uh, this kind of surfing is, uh, is what has got him up to uh, number two in the world. I mean, oh my gosh. Well, those first waves of the set, maybe when you, you, don't, you don't have a whole lot of set activity before your wave, it, it kind of limits the backwash. You watch two nice hits and then this, the speedy float. Smith in this event to haul in John John, as we see, Owen ripping into it. Massive sweep. Now steps it up onto the lip, around the corner, another hack. Both surfers in motion for us as Owen flows. It's an important score. And Owen writes, rolls into this glassy wave face, hooks off the top, comes off the bottom again. Wow. Pierces the lip for turn number two and stabs it 12 o'clock. Keeps going. Owen Wright going to town. Can he finish? Oh. And the answer is yes. The fist wow. bump. Wow. Yeah. And then snaffling that one from right underneath their noses. Look at these waves stacking up. Here is a solid set. The biggest we've seen today. And Owen Wright is all over it. Driving off the bottom. Stalling under the lip. This thing's going to spin in a big way. And the Australian comes charging out onto the open face. Lays down a full rail carve. And he kicks out. If he's going to do it, he'll have to do it on this ride. A late takeoff under the lip, straight into the barrel. And he's going to come out. He may need more here. Grabs the rail, a huge carve. Back into the pocket. Driving up onto the open face. A beautiful slice. Bashing away. Weightless on the drop. And he just gets obliterated on the inside. It was so shallow there. Rather than taking all that time, getting down the line and only receiving a five. Well, he we sees something he likes here and starts off with a big hit right in the pocket. Driving down the line, bashes once again. Disappearing for a moment as he rode out of that turn. A good indication of just how tight in the pocket he serves. And this wave has a nice big section for him to finish on. Still looking for more down the line. Just gets a little hung up in the white water there. He'll go down 24 minutes to go. And Owen is about to drop the biggest number of this heat. Really kind of bring back your season at that point, knowing where you are in the beginning of the season of the championship tour. Here we go. Owen Wright trying to make the jump from third up into first. And it's an 8.23. Ducks under the 
undercover there for a moment. But he's got his eyes fixed down the line as he hooks into the pocket now. A solid hit, a big tall wall to play with. And he whacks it once again. So that'll be his best wave. Florence, the way he's surfing today, has a great shot at retaking the GPL of Jersey, watching Owen Wright. Clean carve into another big hack off the top. Controlling that board shatter off the bottom for another big vertical. Now it's starting to get hollow. Absolute racetrack towards impossibles and knifes it. Great timing for Owen. Reaching back up for a classic backside hack. Another big tail release. Finishing move for Owen Wright to crawl out of the combination here. It goes a bit offshore. Here we go. Now an absolute cavern staying open for oh. Owen Wright. He's out. Grabs the rail and sets up that big fading cutback. Rips one off the lip and he is out of there. Owen making sense of this lineup first thing in the morning. I agree with you. I had you winning on paper. And that happens quite often in surfing, especially when you have really solid heats. As we look at Owen now grabbing the rail, looking to get nice and deep. He's got some oh. room to come flying out. Well, Now a backhand car with a big rebound as he steals the show. Another jam on the backhand for current world number five. And now no question, Owen Wright will take a big lead over Stu Kennedy. I think we were just talking about that. Maybe come down to the south end of the bank and look for a nice little barrel. And there you go. Absolutely nailed it. Race from last season already out of the contest. Losing Jordy, Medina, and John John as round four continues down to the final 12. Owen Wright still looking to defend his title here at the Quicksilver Pro. Again, an opening wave that's still running through this inside corner. He's been loving that little backhand attack through the barrel sections. His turns have been lively. Up until this point, now meeting up with Mick Fanning and Tomas Hermes. Introducing round four for the first time with a third place elimination. So Owen knows he's got to get the jump start. A lot of downtime there. Now back to turns. Super patient. Now ripping three big <laughs> turns right off the lip. Here comes a carve. Passing the free surfers and he wants more. Clean arc just to keep that motion underway. Owen will take the lead early here. Uh, he's, a, he's an intimidating uh, person, really, when he's on fire, that's for sure. Uh, during the interview, Owen Wright slides in on his backhand. Nice and deep. Is he going to come out of this one? He does. Wow. So Owen Wright waiting for this beautiful way to come through and capitalizing as well. Just slowing himself down. I thought he kind of did a little bit too much of a stall, but... He knows what he's doing. Comes flying out of that one, and uh, well, Owen Wright, big bow, and he doesn't look like he's uh, new out here. Hasn't surfed this way before. Look at that, nice and deep, absolutely perfect positioning from Owen. He comes out nice and clean as well. So that's going to be an unbelievable score. It paid off for him. He's still in the lead. Four, four, three on that last wave for Parkinson. Here we go. An aquarium-looking wave here. Oh, a nice. Man. In and out, barrel, untouched. Quick fade, this decision making for uh, Owen Wright, opting out of that secondary turn as he came shooting out of that barrel. But he got the turn in time. Will that get rid of his 5-3-3 and make the ask for Parkinson that much harder? Yes. Uh-oh. Wade Carmichael leads that one up to Owen Wright as he goes straight into a spinning oh, cylinder. Boy. Owen Wright. Somehow finding a magical way right under, literally right underneath Wade Carmichael's nose. And I'll tell a, you, <laughs> that's a hammer from Owen Wright. Feeling to me like only a forehander could have made that way. Down to 250 on the clock. Pat still with priority, needing a 677. Wave on the way, setting it up for the Goofy Foot Australian. Owen Wright, first section wide open. Oh. And spit out of a cannon. Big, clean backhand re-entry for the world number six. He'll just play with this reform. But that had to feel incredible. Scores coming quickly for Owen Wright. Yeah, that's the wave of the heat so far for sure. 
and unfortunate for Pat, underneath his priority, which is going to sting when he hears the score come through. Owen Wright just got this way. Yeah, talking about on fire. I mean, this guy's looking so sharp and so clean. And he's got so much range as well. He's got, uh, you know, he's quite a tall guy, so he can just swing that board around, keeping it nice and clean. Waiting that rail every now and again in this turn right here. Look at that. Look at the projection he got up and over that section, Joe. We haven't seen a lot of that this morning. We've seen guys go up into the lip. We've seen guys turning before the lip. But Owen Wright, he decides to go up and over the lip and right along top of it. Look at this. Beautiful connection. Extends it. Holds it. Beautiful body positioning, keeping his weight over that front foot. And then that tail tapping drop. Incredible stuff there from Owen. This is going to be exactly what, I mean, this is exactly what Owen needs to do as we watch this replay here. Pretty deep as he grabs this wave. And you know something dynamic is going to happen because you don't get eight for doing nothing as he slides across the lip. Beautiful work there. I was looking at this surfboard and it has a very pulled in tail. So he's going to have that extra grip. A little narrower tail gives him control. And wow. uh, 8.17. Uh, it's going to happen with that rod. Owen right up at the moment. And he needs a 9.99 to get ahead of John Florence here. Big section stands up. Beautiful backhand hit. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go. I just heard the beach light up. You can hear people whistling. And so we will see something happen here, I believe. Here we go. Jordy letting this one go through. Owen up again. Big power whip off the top. Drills oh. it again with a fan to the heavens. Down carve setting up this beautiful section to link another back end cutting. Driving off the lift. So many big turns for Owen. And he'll just continue to lay that rail back into the whitewater section. Meets the lift quickly into a uh -oh. foamy section. Uh -oh. Dry rocks there, uh -oh. but he controls it. Oh my gosh. Amazing to see him commit what? to that section without any water to ride out of. Oh. Duru versus DeSouza, their second serve today here in the round of 16. Owen Wright pulls in and celebrates the exit as he's still battling with Michelle Perez. Owen and Michelle, the priority heat. And also seeing DeSouza Duru just getting underway here. Who's a part of the non-priority heat, now a bigger set. Setting up for Owen Wright. This thing going inside out behind him. Owen has to celebrate once again. 8-8-3 on his way before. I think that seven's long gone. I mean that one. Owen's on the next one. Oh my God. As he is making another wave here at Chopo. One of the bigger ones that just came through. Michelle makes it. Owen answers. 2.55 to go. There's been about 10 or 15 incredible barrels here just in the last 12 minutes. Only needed a 2-5. Next wave for Owens in a land on Chatty's head. Deep in the pit at Chokes. Oh, right. Well, Owens just got an equalizer right there. And now the battle for priority. Remember, Jaddy had to wear that extra wave on the head, so Owens free to just stroke his way back into the lineup. Sit on that 5, 6, 7 and, and be a certain of improving on it when, when the right wave came. For Jadson, it was a no-brainer. Thought he may as well have a go and have a look, and he got a good score out of it. Owen right behind, though. Owen with a huge drive, super deep. Right. Can do no wrong in conditions like we have today at Chopo Tahiti. Looking to him better, better is 5, 6, 7. Jaddy improving as well. Amazing conditions today for finals day. So then was chasing an 8-9-5. This is what oh. Owen did behind him. Owen's going to get the best wave of the heat for sure. We haven't seen any indications for the judges yet. But it's a big set, a bomb set, a leftover from yesterday. <laughs> Perfectly deep. Where does this one go, Joey? Unbelievable ride for Owen Wright. If he already has eights and nines, B.O. Exactly. Where are we going with this well, one? Well, you could be going perfect. It's early in the day to be going perfect. We finished the day yesterday with some a perfect score for Gabriel Medina. But everything tells me, by the indication of the nines we've seen in this heat, that was significantly big. But that's not the case here at Chopo. Chopo does everything on its own measure. 
and uh, that was pretty solid. That was one of the bigger waves this morning for Owen. And it's a late takeoff, got right underneath it pretty nicely. A shorter barrel, so I think that'll keep the score modest. It's not going to be a 10, you know what I mean? But it's going to be a solid one for him. So drawing first blood, Typo. So much goes on in between the waves that are ridden, especially in this final with these two. Repeat of the matchup last Ooh. year. Owen wants payback from 2018. Launches himself into a Watch solid out. cavern. Yeah. He comes flying out. There's the emotion from Owen Wright because he knows he was ultra deep on that left-hander. 419 to go. A 721 puts him out. Pro. A big vehicle running down the line with those hydrofoils on it. Over 100 tons of machine machinery providing this incredible left-hander. And Owen Wright. Current world number eight with a CT win at the last venue is starting to flare up, showing us just how well rounded he is. Big frontside finner there, does well to get back out in front of it, find some cover midway through the ride. Very rare here, and now starting to load up and looking for a big finish. That's that creativity. Another big hack, pushing hard on the tail of his board, locks into the barrel once again, and comes out looking for more on the inside. Throws the reverse and sticks it. That whole ride was on that first wave and now gets a shot to have a run at the lead here. He needs a 6.64 to get in front of his rivals and he's on his way. Nice hits on the outside there and ducks into the tube. See how loose he is off the bottom. He's not rushed. He's not stiff looking. He's very comfortable. And this is where he starts to go to work and whipping the backhand. Much like Griffin Cola Pinto, like stepping down to a shorter board to fit the transitions of this wave as well. And it seems to work so well for him. A lot of freedom on the face. And we know that that happened just uh, by kind of by accident with Wilco's board. And now a design has got him right in the pit. Oh, locked in and finding his way through this one with ease for sure is Owen Wright. And the Australian will be making his way up that leaderboard. Right in. You know, it's not about, you know, you, you kind of want to win it, don't you? Oh, absolutely. There's so much on oh. the line here as we speak. Owen Wright, <laughs> there's that backhand hammer and uh, just a beautiful rotation as he drives through those turns and finishes so strong. So, well, Owen needed a score, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say that he got Thanks, it. Hey. But this, this is a better looking way for Owen. Drawing off the bottom, stretching out the front side carve. Second move, more vertical, coming out with some speed. Third, a classic layback, fin throw, and fits in a fourth and final maneuver. Set up on the championship tour. Reaching for the lip line again, his own right. Straight into a bottom turn. Belts oh. it with authority. Wow. Owens on fire into a backhand carve. Incredible for him through those three hacks. Now looking to link up the inside track. Patient off the bottom. Nice steady arc. All he's got to do is stay on his feet. Big backhand hack with the airdrop. Owen Wright fights oh, for the finish oh, wow. and he gets it.